Garmin's autonomy suite of avionics made a real splash on the market with the announcement of Autoland. But its ESP modes for electronic stability protection have been quietly assisting pilots with staying upright through the last few versions of the G1000, G3000, G5000, and Perspective integrated flight decks. Now Garmin's taking ESP a step further with its rudder bias functionality for light twins. We saw a demonstration of the power of the integrated avionics and autopilot with our test flight in Garmin's Beach B-58 Baron on a sunny September day just right for doing some single engine work over the Kansas Plains. Garmin Flight Ops pilot Jessica Koss briefed me before the flight on what to expect, but like so many things in aviation, it doesn't make sense until you have the flight controls. Garmin chose the Baron not only because it was the twin they had on their line at the time, but its thousands of models built over the years means it's in the hands of an awful lot of owner pilots flying for recreation or business. Rudder Bias uses the autopilot's yaw servo to actuate the rudder required to counteract a windmilling prop or a failed engine. Without rudder bias on, the pounds required to hold rudder pressure against the dead engine were significant, within a normal pilot's capabilities, but fatiguing after any amount of time. The system gives two visual indications that it's on, on the autopilot controller and on the PFD's command strip at the top of the display. The ESP indicates its presence with green hash marks at the limiting bank angles on the PFD's attitude display. While normally these are at 45 degrees left and right, with ESP's rudder bias active, it changes its mind. With rudder bias on, the force was about one-third the normal amount, and the bank angle was protected on the dead engine side at 10 degrees of bank to caution against significant turns into that engine. As far as airspeed, the rudder bias system protects against slowing below VMC. During our simulated climb, the results made an impression, given the high power settings normally in play on takeoff. While it won't do all of the work for you, the rudder bias chimes in to assist when the workload is high like that nudge from a good co-pilot.